Do you remember a while back when I was doing um, a project on this, I introduced you to these lights. Uh, and I said at the time, if they proved to be useful, reliable, um, I was going to make it permanent. Well, I'm still using them and they're still reliable and they're still cheap. So I'm now going to make it permanent. That is, I'm going to make it look like these are part of the machine instead of loads of bits of wire coming onto it and what have you. So that's what I'm going to do now. So the first thing I do is to take this thing apart and see um, how it's made. Um, battery box. I didn't realise it had a battery box. Uh, yeah, apparently it has batteries. What could have been? Okay, we're going to need a battery box so we can get rid of that. But the battery box might come useful for something else. Right, so inside there we've got the two lights coming at the bottom there, separately wired, and a little socket there. Um, so I need to separate all that lot. Um, but let's first have a look at the machine and see where we might put it. Now if you're feeling under here, I'm feeling a hole there and a hole at the other side. So I suspect they may have been put there intentionally for lights to be put on, um, which is damn convenient. But well, I'll get this off and see what's behind that and find out. Now there's four screws holding it in place, which I've taken off. Carefully because you've got all the wires to the main switch and, and speed controller in there. So remove that and that plate there, which holds everything on, has got two lovely holes in it. The, the reason is for lights to be put in. So that's what I utilise, them holes. Now also what I want to do is to get the power to it. I don't want to be running right the way through the body. There's no need for all that lot. Um, Apart from which this cabling goes into an, a sealed box in here, in this body. So you'd never get to it without a major strip down. And I don't see the point of all that lot because no matter how good it is now, it might break down. So what I want to do is, I'm going to draw a hole there and put a plug. This gets lifted up and down, but it's not going to have any effect if I put a little plug there and there. And I just make sure this out of the way. So the way I can come over here and plug in. So up at the top here. I want to put that socket that comes with it, and that's all you'll have. There's no nice way of doing this, I don't think, just in case of rip it to bits. There we are, separated. Okay, make a note of the cabling. They're the ones from the battery that I don't want, so I want, let's remove the ones I don't want completely so I don't get confused. That one, and that one. Right, I want to keep, now, easiest way to remember these things, leave a bit on until you're ready to actually come back and do it and then just swap them over. you never get the wires wrong. See, that's definitely the red, that's definitely the black, and that's what I want to do. Now, I need to drill a little hole to allow that through. That's a good size. That's giving me just taking all of it. So I want to make sure I've got plenty of clearance there. I don't need grabbing. Okay. Push this in it well. Bring it through a bit there like that, fold it over and I can glue them down and that'll give it better anchorage because it's plenty long enough for them. I'm afraid the light here is not very good because it's too bright. Um, but I think you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've got a cable here, I'm going to use um, white as the ground, earth, neutral. Simply tin the cables first. 
I'll only run one lot because it's twice as thick as the stuff that was on here originally, so it definitely needs a big enough. Got a, a reasonably good joint there. Right, now I shall glue that into that space. Okay, so first job is hot glue this thing into here. I want it there, I want it that way, so the wires are going that way, and I want the top. And we do have a gap, so I'll put some glue in there first. make sure it stays in the right place. Uh -huh. right I've got the plug in place and I'm just holding the plug out as hard as I can. And I just smother the whole lot. Oh no, the plug's just come out. It was too hot for the socket. Right, as you saw that one melted on me, obviously. Hot um, glue onto plastic, gone. So what I've done is I've got one that's on a bit of a circuit board. So I can glue the circuit board without touching the plastic. Um, but I'm just now testing to make sure, after all my hard work, that it's actually working. Um, so I've got it plugged in. I need to work out as well which of the terminals here. Um, Let's try it this way around first. A little tester there. No reverse polarity, so the centre it looks. Yeah, there we are. We've got it 6 volts, 5 volts. Right, so centre is neg, outside is pos. So again, I need now to connect cables to that and then get that one back in where the other one was and see if I can do it again this time without everything falling to bits in the process. Try not to touch anything that is um, going to be vulnerable. Thin, I just wait for it to cure. Make sure it's solid. If not, I'll add some more. Okay, back to these. Remove that. Remove that one. Oh wow, very solid. No movement at all there from there. That, that, that is just perfect. Angle them anywhere I want, and they'll just stay there. Now I just need to connect these wires. I'm saying it's having a bit of tinning on this, and that one's disappearing on me because it's very fine, very, very fine wire. It's good to tune. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Good, 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 good. Okay, just wait for the other end to be ready, and then I can connect that up, and we're in business. I want nothing there to be able to take it off and put it back on again. So about that. Before I start, I'll put a bit of heat sink over that. I should go green and black so it's in there. Now I need to get these as thin and as straight as I possibly can. Yes, got it, got it, got it. Oh, right. no. Up. Bit of warmth. Okay, I'll put some more in there now, and it seems to be setting quite well. Um, but I will leave that plug in for a while, just to make sure nothing comes out of line when um, it's all curing completely. Um, but until then, let's um, start putting everything back together again. This is just a bit of form that holds the cables in place. Now I've put a little spot of hot glue on them cables there, just as a cord grip to hold it firm there. And this should all just hold up and simply go back in. Reasonably, reasonably, simply. Right? I think they're more in. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. Now, before I screw it back together again, should we just test it, make sure things are working. Otherwise, I'll waste my time. I'll have to take it off that again. Lovely. Wonderful. 
So there you go, we are again back in action. This time, as I said, the lights are now permanently part of the machine. And I can put them at any position I want, in any angle. And they're lighting that space beautifully. So, for 20 quid, is that what I said there was? Do you know? It's been that long now, I can't even remember how much I paid for them. But, you no, know, in fact, I think it was about a tenner, wasn't it? They were very cheap. But anyway, whatever price it was, it was worth it. You need the transformer to go with it, which is the main reason why I wouldn't wire the electrical system into the uh, machine's electrical system like I've done with LED lights. Because that transformer it needs, and mounting that in, and it going wrong and stuff, just not, no point. You just have that, out there. Simple little plug, and I can plug in and unplug it as I want. And as you've seen, if anything does go wrong with it, very easy to take it back out again. And just repair, replace or whatever. These are just standard 8mm holes. Many little things like this would go through them holes if I need them to. Um, but this is, this is just does the job perfect. Just how I want it to. Okay, right, well, once again, if you've got any comments, put them in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like what I've done, shove a like in that box. Otherwise, see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.